I've had a tough day. It's been a it's been a hard day. I am I am I'm just going through it at work. Um, things are crazy. Hi, MC Cat. It's so funny to like look over and see our little emotes side by side. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna do them for posterity? I'll do mine and you do yours. Do you know what yours is? Yeah, mine's. <laughs> like it's, it's so good. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. And I'm Steven! And we're at the Faint Divinities, a channel dedicated to playing, but also talking about Daggerheart, which is the new tabletop RPG from Darrington Press in Critical Role that is currently, as of today, July 9th, in open beta version 1.0. Five, which is why I I have so much gravitas about me today. I'm having a really hard time with it. This is it. This is this is the end. This is the end. Um, I'm sad. Um, I'm very happy. It's been a great little season of open beta stuff, but I um I am sad. So sorry for those of you who don't know why I'm sad. The reason that I have feelings today is because uh, Daggerheart. The new tabletop RPG is, uh, it opened beta in March, on March 12th, two days after my birthday. I lamely called it a birthday present to me, and I stand by that. Um, it's a good one. Yeah, and then every month since then, we've been getting new launches, new revisions. Uh, we've been, Stephen and I, with one exception, have sat here in these very Discord pods and <laughs> talked about the changes. Um, but all good things must come to an end and every door must close so that new doors can open and deep philosophical bullshit that means that this has been the planned end of the road of open beta. 1.5 is the last one. Um, e. Yeah. The, which brings me to the, the point that I should talk about, which is that if you are out there and you've been waiting to jump in and twiddling your thumbs and thinking about it, in July, at the end of July, is when we are going to close out. It's going to yeah. be over. It's all going to be finished. So we are, it's time to gather your party. It's time to get in and start playing this game um, because you won't have a chance. And if you have been waiting because the open beta uh, was going to be changing and cycling, then now's a good time to get in there because... Well, um, it's not going to change again. So this is the version that I think we're going to be stuck on for the ne or involved in for the next year. So mm -hmm. this is this is the time to gather your party and get in there. Um, but as always, uh, Spencer Stark and Matt Mercer both sat live today and they talked about what we were getting out of this version and i was right there with my notepad taking notes as i always do and and we are you know going right along with it so um steven i know that today you got the chance to look through some things you weren't at work the whole time right yeah yeah i got home around 4 35 today so i had a a few hours to look stuff over before bedtimes and things like that proceeded. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to start off the way that we always have. If you're trying to get into Daggerheart at this point, you might be asking, how do I do that? It's really simple. You're going to go to daggerheart.com. Uh, and again, I just always click that and I shouldn't. I need to stop clicking that. But you go to daggerheart.com and you can see it right there. New open beta version 1.5 is live. You click play Daggerheart. Remember my whole thing of scroll up if you want to see the change log. Down here, you can enter your email and it will queue up the downloads for you. It's a GM mm -hmm. package and a player package. Yeah. But I figured we'd go into, you know, let's go ahead and dive into the change log. Um, so it's, this is beefy. This is bigger than we thought it was going to be, right? Um, yeah, this is hefty. This was, I was explaining to my wife earlier. I was like, this one's, 
this one's intense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. This one, this one is intense. Um, I think that minor revision we the, for one point four point two, right? We kind of thought that it was not going to be. Um, after that, we we knew the minor revision change was coming up. We knew that was going to be happening. Kayla in chat, he's a thick boy. He he is. This this change log is she hefty. You know, she's a giant woman of a change log. Um, oh, so. But it's 1.4.2 was very small. We sat here and we were like, what can we talk about? We ended up going into a lot of stuff, but uh, but 1.5 is big. Let's talk about some of those first few things, you know, um, and Steven, at any point, if there are items that you really want to talk about, just dive in, you know, but, um, but obviously the first part is just that you can see some of the top level updates, your quick start adventure and the Marauders of Windfall both updated. By the way, if you are excited about Marauders of Windfall on our channel, we are because we're playing it right now. None of my players are allowed to read it, but we're not using pre-gens, but you might. And there's a sixth pre-generated character, which, again, answers the question for people saying, what about if I play the sixth character at Gen Con? You'll be playing the sixth guy, probably. He's uh, yeah. um, their name. I can't remember their pronouns, but they're Tegan Sapphire. And I'm, oh, it's a bard. And it's incredible. They're, they're, they're great. Uh, fairy bard. Beast form sheet. The beast form sheet for druids, that's a lot to unpack. They yeah, have, it is a lot. They have so many more items there. I am so excited because I've chosen druid for our high tiers of play one shots, and it's incredible. Um, but they've also updated the character creation guide, starting equipment, the sidecar, which again, I know and love. Um, character info and multi-class sheets. Diving into universal changes, though, these are the big, beefy bits. The first one is minor thresholds have been eliminated. They do not exist. Gone. They're gone. The minor. They're we, gone. We knew this was coming. I actually think it was very smart of Spencer Stark and Matt Mercer to have given us the heads up back. Yeah, Kayla. <laughs> yeah, she says, what? <laughs> yeah, what? I know. It's intense. It's uh, scary. Mm, yeah, it is fine, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, um, but it, it, it's... Time out. It's not... I know. Did we know? We did know. We did know. Yes, La Sombra Dark. So many changes. Yeah, yeah. very, very, Man, very many. Th th this, is, this is when I knew we were going to get people talking immediately because it's just... You can breeze past a lot of stuff. You can't breeze past these minor threshold eliminations. Um, just time out, though. Nobody get too ruffled about it. Just to be clear, it's not going to change the way you think about your character. Let's go to Kayla, your bard, as an example, right? And we're going to hop down here. When we say minor thresholds are eliminated, what we mean is you just don't have to track a value anymore. You're still going to take minor damage. So if, it's, if it hits you anything below what your major damage threshold is you mark one health. a minor so yeah. yes so it's not she's oh yeah yeah yeah. it's so we're basically back to what we were at before i think in 1.3 maybe i don't know when i think we, it was three yeah. yeah when minor revisions were set to one across the board that's where we are um mm -hmm. so i am at least glad that they didn't just I thought when they were talking about it previously that they were going to just start at major damage and it sounded crazy to me of just always two hit points or nothing. I thought that was wild. Yeah. I yeah. saw this a little bit earlier than some people because I'm, you know, uh, anyway, I was very excited to see the way that it's formatted and the way that it makes sense. Um, it's very exciting. So not too big of a deal but it has been one of the things that has caused waves so steven what's your take on this how do you feel about this so i mean i i understand the like reasoning and logic behind a gameplay perspective um like even in like video games you get hit you're gonna take some amount of damage it might not be a lot but it's something yeah um I, I did like the idea of being able to like avoid damage completely. And I think what they really need to like address for certain players, because certain players want to build their characters to take no damage. 
damage. Like that is that is the build. Is like how can I prevent any damage from hitting me? Um, the comment I think Rachel, that, I saw this a little bit earlier because I'm awesome. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was very um, exciting. So go ahead, Stephen. Yeah. I think I think evasion just needs to be tweaked a little bit. I think so too. Do you think it's not strong enough? Evasion. I don't not think it's strong enough. I really I, hope I th that. I Eddie think. You go. Yeah, go ahead. Finish. Oh that yeah, no, I really, I really, I really just think that like overall evasion, the idea of it is really cool, and I like that idea for evasion being what it is. That like thematic play of it and everything of like, oh, I dodged the hit because I'm very evasive. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, evasion just kind of feels like everyone has two left feet. If that makes sense, like you might be able to dodge some hits, but you're not going to dodge all of them by no means. Uh, yeah, I I struggle with this because I I think it would be a flaw to ever be able to build a character that can assure they're not hittable at any point. I think a character should well, always be hittable. Be uh, it should be achievable for sure. Like you as a DM should be able to hit a character, but like as a from the player's perspective of it is like it is exciting to build a character that you're like he's not going to hit very hard and he's not going to he's going to have a few cool spells but he's not going to get it. Yeah. he's going to be my dod my dodgy boy that's chris's entire point um mm -hmm. like and you know I, I when i saw it i was like and I was thinking about it, I was like, this Chris probably agrees with me. So and does. I know Justin 100%. does to, to an extent as well. And y'all are the mechanic not. people. So I should not be the person I, I I if you guys feel that that's the way it is, get that survey feedback in. Let people know because I see what you're saying absolutely. And I'm not a player most of the time. So I don't feel the evasion the way that you guys feel the evasion. And it's true. Yeah. You know, whether it's luck of the draw or whatever, I hit Chris more often than I should. 13 armor is incredible, says Caleb. 13 armor is is uh, really well. Like that's uh, when they respect everything. I went and checked out my characters because that is something that I always do. It's an easy way for me to like mentally look at things because I have an idea of what my character was before. Um, I went over and I was checking out Emrys. He's a, oh, yeah. a, a guardian and that Affect a lot of the changes affected his kind of build, how I had him built out. Yeah. Um, I think he's still a very like good build, but um, it just doesn't feel quite the same. I do like the the adjustments they've made. Yeah. So yeah. I know for like the before, not to get into it too deeply, but yeah. like before <laughs> you could like minor damage, uh, avoid all damage kind of thing. But now if you're the stalwart uh uh subclass any physical damage you take you just automatically apply your armor class to it yeah. it doesn't doesn't mark a an armor slot you can mark an armor slot to drop it more but it just automatically does it to physical damage um not magic damage which is um i think smart i think that's a smart way to do it it's not like a broad I'm going to have to see it. Honestly, I'm going to have to see it play out. MC Cat, by the way, you said, I have a Seraph player who before 1.5 had a 3 evasion but 13 armor. Would you be able to tell me what that looks like now if you're in Demiplane? I'm not asking you to build your paper character if that's what you're using. But I would like to see what that becomes because apparently a lot of what they were trying to do with this version, not a lot, I don't want to say a lot, but some of the issues they were seeing is, in Spencer Stark's words, guard Guardians especially, but also Seraphs were OP. Um, sad, sad day that I didn't play a Seraph before we got to 1.5 and beyond, um, but said that they were OP and that they had to change that. And there's Chris. Chris Rooks in chat saying, can attest evasion feels bad. And at the end of the day, I think that my opinion as a GM especially should not matter very much. I truly mean this because players are where this game lives and dies. And so if the players are telling us that the evasion feels not good, bro, then it feels bad, man, then we have to fix that. Um, and one of the things that we've talked about is in earlier iterations, GMs did not crit. 
maybe they shouldn't, you know? Um, Because a crit succeeds automatically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think there should be certain revisions to um, the adversaries, too. Uh, There is. Sometimes, yeah, and I I haven't, that's one of the parts... I haven't actually gotten that far down into (laughs) the meat of it. (laughs) I've just been looking at cards. It's so Um, much, yeah. But sometimes the adversaries just feel like, oh, it's like we're gonna just we're we are going to take turns hitting each other. Oh God! There's first MC Cat. The player is asleep right now, but I can have him drop me a screenshot of his character sheet tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, You know our Discord. Throw it in there, and I would love to see it because I again. I don't get to see those changes a lot because of, you know, I'm a GM, so I would have to build those characters. He told me that his armor is dropped by one, and so did Severe. Okay, okay. We're just going to have to see how it works because my brain has a hard time wrapping around it. I do see what, you know, you got... It is the case, though, that if I do damage to someone, unless they're able to, as a GM, as a dagger master, if you're nasty, <laughs> if I do damage, uh, unless you can get it to zero, you're taking a point. And that is what it is. I have his old character sheet, but not the new one. Mm, me too. That's what That's I interesting. I didn't actually, because that was something that I was going to ask about. So if you do reduce the damage to zero, you still, you don't take anything. Mm-hmm. Still don't take anything that was actually kind of confirmed i don't think that it was a question but it did get spoken of like if that happens that happens so okay um the i do Cause that I, is okay oh, that see and that kind of helps me mentally balance that in my head from like that still works you can still choose works. to take nothing if you're a, yeah. if that if last hit point to, is going to kill you you yeah. can still do everything you can to mitigate it i to, to, have yeah. to be careful okay. with how i say this comment from chris but do i, I you say it steven you read the comment <laughs> you're raw dogging that damage if they hit you maybe it feel uh maybe it feels not so bad without massive damage but massive damage might be showing the build flaws Listen, um, I didn't ask you to read yeah. it like that. <laughs> I, 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 you got to get the energy. I felt him when he was typing. I felt yeah. it. I felt it. <laughs> yeah, like it. I, I think because his point being that if you build a character by funneling all of your effort into evasion, you are necessarily disregarding increases to health, disregarding mm-hmm. increases to your armor, disregarding mm-hmm. your increases to your thresholds because you're hoping that you don't get hit. Yeah. This might be a good point is I've always said, oh, flavor your character however you want, right? But maybe all of those people who have said, I want a monk, I want a monk, I'm always saying, just play a warrior. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Turns out, unless that evasion works, you can't play a, like, no. monk. Yeah, so, you, you can't be the, the leaf in the wind. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you do get the, like... um some things that let you mitigate all of that damage, there, but yeah. There's ways to like flavor. There's always ways to, to, to get it there. If that's really the look or the style of play you're trying to go for, there's a way to do it. Um, yes. I do think I th- I do think that this format makes it a little bit more challenging. Yeah, we got to see it. And But again, let's, you know, play just a touch in 1.5. Just a touch. That's the yeah, one thing. Yeah, yeah. And then, but I really think that you guys should submit your survey feedback related to one point everything because y'all have felt this way since the beginning. I think that's mm-hmm. my big thing as well is I have heard this since we started playing. So yeah. it's got to be valid, you know? Um, and like, to be fair, that's not necessarily even my play style, but I do know that that is like... Uh, it's I a mean, beloved just, play style. It's a beloved play style, yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Okay, that's the big one. I really, I will say it again. I think it was very smart of Darrington Press to have said this before we got to here because I could feel the cushion. Everything right. else, given that there were massive changes for 1.5, um, even with the massive changes for 1.5, I didn't feel the pushback that I have felt even in like 1.4.2. I think there was more yeah. pushback, but I think that was clever on their part because they already fed us the biggest change a month ago. Um, yeah. So 
But let's get back over to our changelog. I do want to remind everybody that this changelog isn't just here. If you download the manuscript, it's absolutely inside of the, oh, not the domain cards. <laughs> it's absolutely in uh, here as well. So you have your changelog in here. If you're in Demiplane, it's in Demiplane as well. And by the way, guys, go support Demiplane. They're doing the Lord's work. Everybody that is in Demiplane and has characters, y'all yet again got updated characters today, basically. Like, yeah. Maybe little yeah. issues here, but it is an incredible resource, um, and it just got acquired. So let's, you know, in keeping with the concerns that have come out of a lot of tech this year, let's make sure that people know that that group is valuable, you know? Um, right, yeah. Uh, but, you know, diving back into these changes. Um, so we we have, so and again, universal changes first. This one is fun all classes have been given a unique hope feature so again in the player areas you, or the player uh, download that you get from daggerheart.com you're going to be able to see all of the packages for each class as always i've pulled the yeah. card um because kayla is here and i love her um <laughs> so now under the hope area you now have this new thing that i'm going to move into this one is the bards for example this wasn't here before bards hope when you or an ally close to you makes a presence roll and either succeeds with fear or fails spend three hope to negate that role's consequences by intervening this is going to work so well with Kayla's, like, frog princess stuff. So, so well. Absolutely incredible. So, we're I, I'm so excited to see it. Like, yeah, Kayla with her eye emojis. Absolutely, yeah. So, we are getting these kinds of features. They're expensive. I think I've seen, and they're all three, Hope. They're expensive. They're all three. Mm -hmm. They are expensive. But let me show you the best one. <laughs> this is a druid. Hey, for all my druids out here, y'all get ready. This is so cool. Druids Hope. And I love that they're called X's Hope. So fun. Yeah. Spend three hope while in beast form to increase your damage thresholds by plus three until you drop the form. Until you drop the form. Guess who's coming into everything from Wilhelmina here on out with a hopeful druid? It's me. Like Lissabra. It's me. Lissabra put the um, hat emoji. I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah, there and there's some awesome ones. There really are some awesome ones. The uh and this is, you know, I'm being a little uh oh, are you tell about favorite, the ranger one? There. The ranger. You get a plus one evasion until your next short rest. That's a long time. That is a that's, that's, that is a long time, boys and girls. Very you might long. not take a you might not take a short rest all day. So if you do that at the beginning of the day, you don't end up taking a short rest. You just got a plus one evasion for the day. It's true. It's true. Like they're, they're like these. I also just I think this is cool. The uh, wizards. Did you see the wizards? No, I don't think I did. I think I did actually. I think I did. It, oh, it's the like you don't die. <laughs> It's I remember the, it. If you were I to take it. your last hit point, you can negate it with three hours. You said, oh, I was going to die. No, like, uh, I actually. Like, yeah, spend three hope so funny instead of marking your last hit point. Gale. <laughs> so funny to me. Gale is Wizard's crazy. hope. <laughs> It's hope. truly it's the so wizard's hope. Yeah, so Chris, I hope that me. you're watching this for uh, John because, <laughs> the, like, you have this now. You always got it. Yeah, Lissabra Dark says, die. Nah, not today. And that's exactly not right. Today. The wizard said, probably tomorrow, but not today. <laughs> so funny. Um, it's also going to hit those big role play moments of, like, yeah. okay, how? How did you avoid this what was should have been your death you know like, yeah right I'm, yeah i'm very excited about that so um it's very cool we're not we don't have time to go through all of them obviously but it's so cool. cool i love it um um w one more i'm gonna okay. touch on just okay. because it's another one that i thought was actually really cool <laughs> okay. is the sorcerer's hope um when you after you do a spell cast roll you can double the results of your hope 
double the res. I don't understand. Uh, uh, just like when you roll a duality, you just like double when yeah. you rolled on the. Oh no. On the hope dice. After a spell cast roll to double the result of your hope roll, so d- giving you a pretty good chance of. Oh, rolling I, with hope. Of rolling with hope. Yeah. How do you mm-hmm. want to do this? How do you want to avoid death? H D Y W T A D. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. I wonder, spend three hope after a spell cast roll, which says it right there you were already rolled so you yeah. you only have to because i was gonna say that's a lot of hope to spend on a chance this isn't a chance so you know it's gonna work okay crazy yeah. good one yeah so yeah the hope rolls or the hope feature is incredible so Love cool them. Yeah. so cool yeah Okay, this one, very cool. We, we There's not a lot to talk about for this specifically, but leveling up now, remember, we've leveled up a few times. Um, mm-hmm. Now includes an option. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. We've leveled up sometimes. Um, for, now includes an option for taking an additional domain card at your level or lower. Now to clarify, this is the optional item. So when you level up a character and you come down into here... Mm -hmm. One of the options now available to you is to choose an additional card. Um, So those, it's cool. I love this. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I do too. I'm a multi Um, player. This is great for me. Yeah. No, I do too. I like this uh, uh, as like an option. I think it's a really, like, there's really no reason for it to have not been a level up option because it's just like the, the game is... A card game it's to an extent game. so yeah. have is a way to have more cards yeah yeah absolutely a hundred percent so yeah uh just incredible um love it we don't need to go into it any further than that mm-hmm. and then very quick items mandatory fun times llc 100 percent agree yeah like it's yeah. it's just yeah. it 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 makes sense to have in there and i love that this is one of those things where when I'm assessing what the smartest thing to do is, it's probably not take another domain card because you should probably focus on making yourself a little sturdier or something like that. So, uh huh. So something that I and I I, I uh, put it into my last like feedback, uh-huh. but the um, they should have a level up option where you can gain an extra like slot for domain cards, like only once but like maybe at like between the level five and level seven so instead of just having five active you can have six why do i think Uh, that there might already be one of those am i wrong (gasps) i don't know maybe maybe i have just overlooked it but that is something there's there's a card that someone took that sits as an applied thing and i don't think it sits oh Oh, it's it is. It's a weird one. I have it for Imris. You're right. Yeah. You're right. But but yeah. again, well, sure. But it's a little different. But well, but yeah, do something a little different. Mandatory fun times. All the cards meet. Card Goblin. Oh. I <laughs> don't. I don't care what they say. I just want to have them again. You guys all know the sad little violin story of me, and I just didn't get to play the Pokemon when I was a child on the playground, and everybody else had the Pokemon cards. Kayla had them, not me. And they were cool, and they were pretty, and they had art on them. I didn't have them. And then Magic the Gathering came out, and Steven had a lot of decks. They were really cool, and I was always Earl the Mistwalker. But now I have a game <laughs> that I am here at the beginning. Arcanine. And you want those cards. That was why I was so excited about my little, little binder. Wherever. Oh, ha, ha. My, I was so excited about my little binder because mm-hmm. I got to do this, you know, and I I did buy them for D and D back in the day, but um, yeah, had those for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I still have them somewhere. They're here somewhere. You can always share my cards, BB. This is Kayla. Thank you. I appreciate that. I want the little pony one. I do, Ponita. I think fire She's pony. like fire. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, moving on. <laughs> like all experiences now start at two. Plus two. Which is cool. Great. Yeah. Swamp yeah. Princess will be a, pl- a p- plus four for you at this point, Kayla. She says, Ponita, we mm. were horse girls. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so that's great. Um, you know, that's that's fun. It, I, I like this because having recently t- dipped my toe into playing characters, um, I, I was always kind of like, man, this is, this is pretty weak. Compared- a hope for plus one. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know? <laughs> and it's like a, it, it, it's meant to It's be, like you want to use it. Yeah. Well, and like proficiency, if we're comparing and contrasting this to Dungeons and Dragons, everything is right. a plus two, you know? Everything in, in Dungeons and Dragons is a plus two starting baseline. Is it? <gasps> oh my god, my brain! I think it is. I think it starts as a plus two, right? Proficiencies in Dungeons and Dragons. Proficiencies, yeah. Don't they yeah, start yeah. as plus two? Okay. Yeah, and then they grow as you get to higher tiers. It's crazy how I how little Dungeons and Dragons I've been playing. <laughs> so I don't remember all the rules anymore. Okay, you only have so much space in your head. Um, anyway, proficiency now takes two level up options to increase. Um, yeah, that, and that makes sense. Uh, it? It's another one. What's your I think so. There. Because proficiency adds an extra dice to everything you roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I, and then I, me as a player, me as a stingy player is like, you dirty motherfuckers, how dare y'all make me spend an extra <laughs> level up option to do this? But me as like a like critical thinker, it makes total sense. Okay. You're you're adding an extra dice to every damage, uh, weapon attack you make, every spell attack you make that uses your proficiency. Um, it's it's Very frustrating, strong. but I I do think it's really strong. Proficiency, that is like, by the end of, you know, a level 10 character, you have six proficiency. That's yeah. every attack, you're rolling six die. Every spell, you're rolling six die. If not, if not more, because of something else you might have. Yeah. This is incredibly fair. This kind of feeds into the thing that I was talking about um, at one point. And they give you free profici uh, two free proficiencies still. They do. They do. Yeah. Which I also agree with. Let me feel be beefier at the beginning, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. And, and so everybody here knows that I am uh, just chronically in Darrington Press's shit. I'm on... Everybody knows I'm on the Twitter, I'm on the YouTube, I'm on the Instagram, I'm in their Discord. I'm really just I am I'm all over it because I love this thing that they're doing so much. Um, but GM Rice Combo, I'm gonna give them a little call out here, a shout out, who is just doing the Lord's work in terms of the sheer amount that he's GMing and stuff in the world. He has done a lot of higher level play, and he specifically said that at those higher tiers, it really gets hard to scale an enemy, an adversary to, to fight against your party of four to six players when they have been bumping proficiency. So mm -hmm. I have to, again, there are a lot of areas that I have blind spots in. I have blind spots in being a player utilizing evasion. I have blind spots in being a GM at those high, high levels of play where you're playing with characters who are not role play, but are combat oriented, you know? If the people who really know that tell me, I, I trust them, I believe them. So, um, so I guess that makes sense. But those are your universal changes. Is there anything that we want to talk about as part of this? Um, I mean, no, I think we kind of hit it as we were going through it. I think that I think these were the right moves. I, I do so think too. they yeah, I, really I think do. Uh, as much as like there's some like uh, about it, I think they were the right moves. I'm getting to that point, actually, where I. I I even worried a little bit. I was like, how much of like today's stream is just going to be us like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, makes sense instead mm -hmm. of like, whoa, they're doing this because we've gotten to the point where we're polishing, you know, yeah. like it doesn't feel like we're getting left field options anymore. Even the minor thresholds. If you tell me it's just reset to one effectively, yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, we've done that. Okay. We know it, you yeah. know, and. And um, and if it, if the reason is because things were OP, didn't love it. So um, I did want to just briefly show what was I going to show? Uh, proficiency area over here, I think. Yeah, increase your proficiency by plus one. This is what it looks like. It looks like a bolded yeah. area, so that it's clear that yeah. it's different. Um, same thing for the multi class. For uh, the multi class. Yeah. So um, this is what it looks like now. If you want to like use those. You have to mark them both at once. When you go up a level, that counts as your two. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. So, okay, diving down a little bit further. Um, we're we there is no way to touch base on everything today, guys. It no, is too it's much. Huge. It's huge. Um, it's the opposite of the minor revision land. Um, but we're gonna talk about, I guess, significant items. So, 
when you're talking about preparing for your adventures, take a look at all of your different classes. I will leave mm -hmm. them on the board briefly for people to peruse at their leisure while I notice in Ferris. <laughs> um, yeah, in Ferris. Yeah, we're not demons anymore, guys. If you were playing a not tiefling, now you're still playing a not tiefling. It's an in Ferris. Frozen? Am I frozen? <gasps> uh oh. I don't know what Lysandra Dark is saying. <laughs> like, uh, I don't think that I'm frozen from what I can see. Hi. No, you don't look frozen. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a little thing in there. In Ferris. <laughs> like, so, in Ferris. Um, it's a demon. It's a, it's a demon. So um, yeah, 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 yeah. it's totally different. I mean, like literally you can go into one of the sheets and you can see by scrolling down that it now, because uh, I even checked. I was like, do they mean it? Is it serious? Where is it? up here there it is guys there's what used to be the demon and is now an inferis um same thing just a different name but anyway um everything else you can see it's like class feature stuff um mm -hmm. i've looked through i don't i haven't seen any changes did you happen to look at like your ranger oh kayla says i don't like that for some reason i'm old uh listen i thought it was i thought it was super fun <laughs> like, uh, but lore updates i wonder what those lore updates are i don't know yeah i so i'm gonna look that one over because i one of the because i'm just a character creator i do that one of the characters i was looking at creating was a half demon half elf uh -huh. Um, or half in Vernus, half elf. Oh, in Ferris, not in Vernus. In Ferris. <laughs> in Ferris. Do you know that Spencer Stark um, said Simia today and it fucked my world up? I was like, is it Simia instead of Simia? Because. Simia. Dang, I, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and look. Why don't we look at what the Inferis is in inside of here? Here we go. Um, yeah. Inferis, because that'll be fun. Also, I don't think I've ever shown on our streams, but if you don't check out the manuscript, what are you doing? You're missing oh, all of the art. Which so I, much beautiful art. I believe by Sean Ellis and just it's gorgeous. Cool. It's uh, oh, okay. Um, those of Inferis ancestry are humanoids who possess sharp canines, pointed ears, horns that come in a variety of styles, descendants of demons from the circles below. I thought that was going to be the thing that had changed. Um, yeah, you know, there's no standard number of horns, they may grow asymmetrically. This is just about their horns. Long fingers put in now. Dread visage, they can manifest both involuntarily or purposefully for fear reasons. Oh, they live up to 350 years. Was that true before? Don't yeah. know. Um, the, it, it was true before. Okay. I don't really see a lot of change. Really? Here. I don't see any change, like, much other than them kind of, like, digging more into the changes of, like, skin tones and varieties <laughs> of... I want to point out the way that Kayla said it's okay to be wrong, BB. Now listen. <laughs> now listen, you. Um, also, mandatory fun time says I always read it as Damon, so I like and fair. Damon. 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 <laughs> yeah, I have a friend. <laughs> I have a friend I used to work with named Damon, and it makes me happy to hear it. Um, so 1.4 was fallen gods. Was fallen 1. gods. 1.5 is demons from circles below. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's. The circles below sounded new to me, but I was like, mm, maybe I'm tripping. Now, here's my thing. Um, I, I don't know that I love that. And, and my and I, I, I'm going to be open with criticism. It's not a big critique, but I think that that's um, that's so par for the course. I almost thought that we were gonna, I, I literally thought in my head as we were looking it up, it was why I wanted to go there. I thought, oh, maybe they're gonna say it's something totally different. I always see this as the background for the tieflings, for the Asmo, Asmodeus, right? Like you yeah. have tieflings of different, I, I, I think it's a beautiful story. I love it. If they could come up with something that was totally out of left field, would I like it? I don't know, maybe. Um, but either way, everybody loves a good in Ferris. And I don't know that I, I, I don't agree with change for the sake of change. So if there's nothing that is as good as that storyline, keep it. We're not having a final season right. of Game of Thrones, you know? It, yeah, 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 yeah. Twists are only good if they're good. Not for the sake of being a twist. Um, but look at this art, guys. Oh, my God. Beautiful. I love going through it. Uh, some of my favorite arts in this whole, like, lineup, just, like, on the uh, the bits, oh, are the, the clanks. 
The clinks and the fun girl have some of the prettiest art. The fun girls are beautiful. I just want to talk about this very briefly because this is a little lore oh. for, for Rachel specifically, which is that I at one I've seen horns done like this a long time ago, and the concept that I read it at the time was that the reason that horns exist is that this is the version this is an angel is that they initially right. had a halo and then it's mm. broken at one point to create not horns just two parts of a broken halo <gasps> the way that like the i don't know 14 year old version of me who read that was like <laughs> like right uh, Oh my god so seeing this art i had such a visceral reaction to the first time should i ever play it in ferris they will absolutely have this horn structure i just want you to know okay should i ever play Good. a seraph maybe can you imagine a seraph in Fer in ferris i i i anyway okay all right sorry all right um moving on from that oh look at the unicorn <laughs> moving on from that <laughs> all right so um Everything else, though, I haven't been able to see what the actual class features are that are different here. I, I looked at a couple. Um, yeah, did you find yeah there's a couple that are subtly different. Uh, let me see if I can spot the one that I was looking at earlier. I mean, like, druids is different, but, like, the bards, for example, maybe Kayla can tell us, right? Um <laughs> Once per session, as part as your party, prepa party prepares to enter a dangerous or difficulty situation, call out. Listen, Mammers, I know you watch our stream. You <laughs> doesn't. Um, difficulty. I found a typo <laughs> for you. I found a typo for you. Difficulty situation. Um, describe how you rally them and give yourself and each of your allies a D6 rally die. Um, that's the same. Anyone with a rest? Stop it, Kayla. He can't spell. <laughs> Stop it. Anyone with a rally die can spend it to roll it, adding the result to an action roll. Yeah, this is the same. At the end of each session, yeah. they are cleared. Rally die increases. So I don't see what changes. I was wondering if maybe it's the fact that they have the hope, but this is the class feature. So what is changing here except for a difficulty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it might be something like super subtle like that. Um, I know, like the that's what I'm saying. Change, We're getting to polish. Yeah, yeah. It's just like really is. Mm. Um, the other Cat. one that's kind of weird is the uh, hmm? MC, Cat. MC Cat says my players consist of a Sarah Fungrill and Invera, so I've been reading the manuscript on and off since release. Yeah, listen. Mm. Oh my god, it makes good sense. I'm so sorry, Stephen. Do you remember um, what you were gonna say there? It doesn't even mark that the, the Guardian had a class feature change. Oh, did it? Oh, it doesn't? In the change yeah. log? Yeah. Hey, you, change if log. you're in the Darrington Press thing, literally at them. I'm Van Norms. Sorry. Ivan Van Norman. <laughs> uh, uh, Matt... No, no, Matt's not in there. Spencer Stark, they were they were responding today to things in there. So, like, they actually take that feedback and make immediate modifications. So, if you're seeing something that's not in here, let them know. Um, what was the change? Do you know what it was? Um, it was to the, like, foundation. Um, I had mentioned it earlier. It just, like, now, anytime you get hit by physical damage, you automatically apply... Uh, well, I guess that might be talking about because that's a subclass feature. Not you're gonna like have to finish the thought feature. because the rest of us uh, are not sorry. Over here it's, with you. <laughs> oh, in my mind, I thought yeah. So it was part of the because uh, there's like the foundation, the specialty, and the master uh, mastery of like each subclass. Yep. It was part of that subclass for the uh, stalwart. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Anytime you take damage, uh, you automatically apply your armor class. Mm -hmm. So the change log here, now that I'm looking at it, is talking about just class feature changes, not subclass features. That's probably fair. It could, yeah, it could be later on. Also, mandatory fun times that guardians spend three hope to get rid of three used armor slots. That sounds different to me. I don't. Super strong. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is one that I saw too. The big one, and it's right here in the middle. Druid has not only this that says class feature, also wizard gets their invasion evasion bumped. Wizard's got some buffing here, so that's cool. But the druid class feature, but also beast form. We have to talk about this. Uh, so first of all, um, they still have wild touch. They still have beast form. Um, the, one of the things that actually they talked about in the bits was that they got rid of the you don't shift your armor to what another creature's is anymore and there is a reason behind this i saw it in the darrington discord uh what feels like months ago at this point but couldn't have been um because someone was someone was rules lawyering and they were like what if i took my armor off and then i beast formed into something and then i came out of beast form and i put my armor back on it would all be fine, right? And it was like, oh, you sneaky little. So so they've made some changes uh, to that. Um, but a lot of the stuff is still the same in terms of how it works. But the number of creatures, oh my God. Was I not saying like a week ago that... Oh, there's just not that many. And I don't mm -hmm. even see why I would be it. And now I could be a pangolin? Freaking that is a good one. Pangolin? Oh my god, I'm going to be a pangolin who can cannonball. I thought yeah. that the bear was going to be the one that could cannonball because of Trinket from Campaign 1. Right. But it's but if it's a pangolin, I'm okay with this. His He takes advantage on digging. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> so cute d12 plus two damage is intense that's crazy yeah. um but you have so many guys it's in, it's crazy now and it's meant to be like a back at a, at a front the names here are hilarious you got like household friend dog cat rabbit you got nimble grazers <laughs> <laughs> you have um also so here we go guys remember how i was like why can't i be a dragon just wait you can mythic aerial hunter dragon pterodactyl rock wyvern you can be that now guys now you have to get up there in levels obviously um they've also separated it into tiers so now it's like a tier one creature a tier two yeah. a tier three a tier four um but so cool they it's just it's so exciting look at this mythic hybrid chimera manticore cockatrice this is literally what i had asked for and i love them so much for it it's so good it's so good sphinx <laughs> i will stop talking about this but it it may be is it not like just making you crazy this steven this no it's uh because like that's always something that's like druids being able to change the animals super cool but like being so limited to just like beast like, why wouldn't they be able to change into a mystical animal? Like, it's, it's still, like, an animal in some form. Or so, like, you know, a creature. And they're just taking the shade. Yeah, like, and, and these are, like, the way... I, I love this, uh, this area of it, too. Legendary hybrids and mythic hybrids. Because what they've mm -hmm. done is they've kept that thing that we love about Daggerheart, which is that it's flexible, it's loose, it's role-play heavy. You don't just... You, you, you're you not just a thing that does a thing. You get to choose two beast form options when you become something like this. So if I yeah. want to say I'm a unicorn, I could be a unicorn, and I'm just going to pick things that work for a unicorn you know mm -hmm. i would take ocean master because we all know that unicorns are not nar narwhals of land so yeah um, obviously anyway so very exciting anybody who's playing a druid you know very exciting okay that is at this point we need to move on um mm -hmm. because <laughs> Again, we cannot follow this down. We would be here. We've been here almost an hour already. We can't just keep going down in this way. But those are a lot of the big things. Most of the other areas are pretty, um, I would say, minor in some ways. I very briefly want to go through some areas that Matt Mercer and Spencer Stark talked about during the stream. Um, very briefly. We have um, kind of... I liked the way that Justin, Justin was supposed to be on today. Um, and yeah, I Poor liked internet. 
this the internet is the always against us guys the internet always being against us but like uh, he had he had such a good outline of what we were going to do and of course then i went he really into, did yeah so thank you justin and i'm sorry that your internet is all stinky um so agenda item ones big threshold and armor changes we haven't talked about that but suffice to say guys armor is completely different everything is different yeah i i'm yeah. not gonna spend time on it because it's just not worth it to talk about here the armor tables are different go look at yeah. them go um, look at them make sure you're you got what you need yeah we've talked about the specific class hope abilities we've talked i think about the level up options by showcasing you know the things about the the proficiency and the domain yeah. cards um then uh, the second topic is ancestries. You know, some of the ancestries have changed. We've, we've seen that. The Inferis. Is there anything else you needed to touch base on as part of that? I mean, not necessarily. Some of the features have changed. Just look that stuff over, guys, if you are trying to figure that out. I'm like specifically, I know uh, the dwarf secondary feature has changed. So I, I know that they're yeah. kind of balancing around the whole, they're not being a minor uh, threshold anymore. It's crazy. It's just crazy how much has changed, you know, um, which takes us into, you know, we're down into kind of the, the cards area, but like the listing of what has changed is so wild. You know, all of these ancestries are different. The giant's different. Yeah. The Dracona's different. The Inferis, Orc, Simia, they're just all different. The subclasses for all of these different ones have changed so you can see wildly that. community nothing changed it's so <laughs> funny they were like this that is was... good <laughs> this is good <laughs> yeah we did it perfect guys so don't worry about replacing your community charge oh look subclass it is right there the star uh uh guardian feature guardian. There you go. specialization mm -hmm. yeah. and master yeah because those are technically part of the cards it's not yeah. part of the base so yeah, yeah yeah okay perfect yeah um but it's 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 everything you know um like it, it's there are changes to just gosh so many of the subclasses um chris school of war wizard specialization different so be aware of that. Um, Kayla is not a wordsmith. She's a troubadour, so she won't have to worry about that. But guys, changed. And then the biggest part, let's talk about these domains. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about them, shall we? Shall we talk about them? We there, can't. I mean, How yeah, would at which ones? Uh, one of the, let's see. No, no. Mm -hmm. Um, the the one that I want thirty different cards. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, but but like literally, you know, the books, all all of these codex cards that are the books have changed. Wait. You know, like it's just significant. Let's go to the bard. We can like see because she has a grouping of those books all together. So maybe we can undig something out of that piece that get, that tells us something about what is happening there. Ooh, it's so crazy. Um, which ones have changed? Book of Avax, Norai, Corvax. Ava, Norai, Corvax. All of those, because those are ones that I'm pretty familiar with, I think. Book of Ava. Uh, power push is that D10 plus two. <laughs> Okay, Tava's armor, spend a hope, you give someone armor. Okay, the next time they mark an armor slot, yep, that's the same, ice spikes. So, I think that probably it's not significant changes, but there's just no way to tell, because so many things have been modified. Um, yeah, the easiest way, I mean, and if you guys have been downloading um, the uh, information as it's been being released, is really like, going and pulling up the old cards versus the new cards yeah. and kind of digging through it like one by one almost. Mm -hmm. Which, um, because a lot of it I think like Rachel said, this is a polish guys. We're getting towards the end so a lot of this is going to be revision in words. Yeah. And just the way that things are being phrased and like and that kind of stuff. We're not seeing huge changes to anything anymore. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah. If you want to, be... if you want to see those that level of detail, by the way, join the Darrington Discord. Those yeah. are your people. 
uh, I think CXZ man, if I'm correct, he's at least going through and documenting the changes, but I think he usually provides it too. Um, Arcana level five. Let's see if I can find Arcana level five um, because chain lightning is one that I have heard is very different. So let's get down to level five stuff. Oh, it's just such a big file. Also guys, the file got beefy. Um, it is... Ugh. It is so. It makes my computer sad. It makes my computer so sad. Um, Arcana, <laughs> chain lightning. I don't know how this worked before, but I do know how it works now. Use an action to mark two stress to unleash lightning on all targets within close range. The GM must make a reaction roll 14 for each. On a failure, they take X amount of damage. Um, additional adversaries not already targeted by chain lightning and within close range that were hit must also make a reaction roll on a failure. They take that. Chain can continues until there are no more valid adversaries. Any adversary may only be targeted once per action. What people are talking about is that chain lightning wasn't actually a chain of consequence before. Now it is. People are very excited about this. <laughs> like it's also a spell now. Yeah. Four MC cat, 400 pages now instead of 335. An additional 65 pages as part of this release. Um, so it's significant. Um, we're, we just can't go through everything, guys. Go to daggerheart.com, take a look at the change log, get in there with this because it's just, it's significant. Is there any? Oh, and side note, guys, um, I, I had talked to Rachel about this and then she informed me that I was uh, already barking up the right tree, apparently. They're uh, changing the art on the cards. So, like, not necessarily getting rid of these entirely, but like, each card is going to have an art that is like more related to what the card is. Yeah. Um, so like a chain lightning would probably show someone casting a chain lightning spell versus just an arcanist like kind of being on there. Yeah. Um, the, the, this was brought up in chat today. I think that some of us knew it was coming because of comments that had happened very early and stuff, but it's been confirmed. Every card is going to have its own art. Wow, this is true. Hyped, hyped. If you're a Magic the Gathering girly slash dudette, dude, <laughs> not everyone is girlies. Um, this is what you've been. I'll be a girly with. for this. I don't care. I love We're it. We're all girlies. <laughs> incredible, you know. So you're getting that. That was a specific question: is are we getting more art? And Spencer was like, yeah, yeah. I think he even yeah. like spoiled. Maybe there was art for one. I wish I could find where it was, but um, let me let me look at this log real quick and just see if I can think of it. Um, because cloaking blast. Arcana level seven. Let me just look That's real right. quick and yeah, see right. if that had new art. No, it looks the same. It looks the same yeah. to me. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I imagine that this is just a different function and not different art. I took that the wrong way. But uh, this one, after you make a successful spell cast roll to cast a different spell, you can also spend a hope to immediately become hidden. Hidden only drops the next time you make an action roll or the GM uses all of the tokens on the action tracker. That's cool. Wow. That is pretty cool. Kayla says, girlies is a state of mind. It absolutely is. Yeah, and Lasopper Dark is. says, art, art, art. <laughs> like, and I agree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very excited. Okay. So we're we're getting towards the end. I know that this is a lot, and I know that when we say near the end, it means okay, we've told you all the homework there is, but it's wild, guys. So it's, much. I I will say I wish that they had I'm a little bit no no no, I'm okay with it. The way that they Oh no. How did they organize these? I can't find the method to the organization there's, of these cards. There's none. It, like, it infuriated me yeah. when I got to the change log and it's minimal. Like I'm they're they're trying to drop a bunch of stuff. So like I'm yeah. sure like in a day or two they might update it. They might not. But there is no rhyme or reason. It's not well, I think level, that they did it by domain. level. I, <laughs> MC Cat says there is no order. Like I, <laughs> I thought they were None. doing it by, um, by like uh, domain and then structuring Chaos it by crew. level. But it's it's not because like if you go to the Arcana, right? Here's an Arcana, and then here's a Grace. And I just, yeah, I I. 
I do think it should be organized, but by the way, guys, uh, if you have Excel, take this, copy, control C, control V it into a single column and then sort it. I, I can have this. If you join the Discord, I'll put it in there for you guys. Don't even worry about it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I'll do that as homework. I'm going to mark it as an action item for me. Have I mentioned I'm a project manager? Hire me, Darrington Press. Um, <laughs> I even have functional pins sometimes. Not this one, though. Don't worry. I always have back backups because I'm a project manager. Um, the Sombra Dark, you are correct. Order is lawful. We are all chaos goblins. I am not a chaos goblin. I <laughs> am a chaos goblin. <laughs> I have not a bone of chaos in my heart. Um, it's very hard for me to play chaotic characters. Um, okay. That's why me and Rachel have been such good friends for so long as we, 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 we uh, polarize each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I love the Sombra dark hire her yes <laughs> i just want to like i could i the, the way that i i i love my current job and everything i love what i, I do i love what i yeah, do yeah, yeah. but but the fact that i can't dedicate all of my time to the industry that i love and specifically the organization that i love is killing me action item take domain cards throw into excel uh organize Okay, uh, there we MC go. Cat says there is a Google Doc in Darrington Press open beta thread that serious. someone yeah. did the domain cards by level. I, I, it was probably CXZ, man, but it, MC Cat, you would know. Like, there are, there are, the, the people in there are my people. They're the yeah. people that are like, ooh, time for homework? Here I go. You know, like they're, mm -hmm. taking, they're taking the same level of notes. We're friends. By the way, by the way, you guys, um, like, I do want to note. La yeah. Sombra, you know, Rabbit, MC, like, I, I, I saw you guys today in, like, the stream comments and stuff, putting my face, also putting, like, hi to her and stuff, it was just so sweet. Y'all are so cool. Thank you so much. I love y'all. <laughs> yeah, it was CXZ, man. I knew it was. I love Yeah, it was it always, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, all right, getting back to things, though, okay, so... That was, that's a big one is these don't, oh, whoa, I've lost it again. Don't worry. I have it pulled up here in a note. Domain cards have a ton of changes, calling out big ones, but we've already done it. Um, last one. This is going to be more of GME type of, type of items. Um, yeah. Um, one of those is adversary changes. Most of the adversary changes is they stripped miners from everyone. This includes adversaries. Mm -hmm. So those are updated. They did scaling stuff, you know, so uh, just be aware that scaling is different and it should be. Um, but adversary changes are, are different. Environment changes uh, and new locations. So the environment changes again it sounds like it is more scaling stuff than than anything else uh, for the environment specifically and i think that there was a good amount of focus in to trying to give gms a way to utilize fear outside of combat without relying on the GM to have creativity, just like constantly. Our brains are tired by right. the end of the second hour, you know, um, which I, I think now is a good time to talk because GMs, y'all are all here, y'all are all listening, and our players aren't. They've tuned out. It's time for us, guys. Okay, you ready? Shh, don't tell them. Your downtime, now you get stuff too. You get yeah. fear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I told Chris, he was like, no, like, don't give her more. <laughs> yeah. Um, resting isn't just for the players anymore. It's also for the, the voices of evil. Um, now I get to, when y'all take a short rest, I collect a fear. When you take a long rest, I collect two fear, I think. Um, wow, wow, wow. I'm so delighted. Kayla says, hate it, love it. <laughs> like, like, like. MC Cat said I saw that it made me so happy. So exciting. I think Very exciting. Is, let me say why this is so valuable, not as a GM, just as a smart lady. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um one of the things is time and time again, right? You get into a situation where your players are like 
Well, we just had a little fight. Yes, it's still mid-morning. We're gonna take another rest. We're gonna take a long rest because we want all of our stuff back. And you're like, it's 6 p.m. And they're like, can't hear you, very sleepy. Honk shoe. Um, <gasps> now, take that rest. Take that rest. See if I don't jump in with my fear while you seep in, in your seepy bags and kick your ass. Pew, pew. Um, I'm not, again, we're not adversarial between players and GMs here. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them. Anyone that watches our streams, don't tell them. Um, but yeah, very exciting. So that's that's more of the environment piece. Um, but the new location is, guys, the Soul Sunk Sea. That's a lot of S's there. That sounds cool. Sounds very cool. Matt was a little too smiley during this part. And I say that not as a person who doesn't wish him joy, but as a person who's suspicious of what he's put in into that scene. Fear the fear. Lissandra Dark, you are 100% correct. Fear the fear. fear. The fear. Absolutely fear the fear. Um, so the Soul Sunk Sea is a new area. Remember, they have several now. And if you have, if you want to read through these guys, they're so good. You've got to read some of these areas. Jindalia is incredible, and I'm excited for this one. I, sh I wish it had come out before we had started Marauders, because it's got piratey stuff. I'm very excited. So, um, anyway, that is the campaign, or sorry, that is the environment portion and the new location. Um, there is new homebrew guidance. I'll be honest, I have not touched it. I have no idea where it is. Um, uh, so, like, I'm so Chapter sorry. six. Chapter six, <laughs> yeah. It, it, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know where it is. I just don't know the Remember, guys, they have a great table of contents, and it's it's right here of customizing your uh -huh. game. And you can go in there, and you can look at all of the different stuff, you know. Um, wow, it's just crazy here. Uh, it's just wild. It's just wild. Um, but, yeah, you do have... Uh, here in, in chapter six, customizing your world of the change log area. We can see that what has changed are again, more of the ancestries and stuff. Um, these are subclasses. This isn't even part of that. This, I, I don't understand. Um, I will say one of the exciting things that we heard today is remember that while we are in open beta, Daggerheart, Darrington Press, Critical Role, they still have the stance of Please don't publish your homebrew content. It's not finalized yet, you know? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But some people were starting to take that as like, they won't let us do homebrew. Do, 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 do. And it's like, that is never what they said. That is never what they've said. <laughs> Matt is the homebrew guy. Yeah. <laughs> he loves homebrew. Stop saying that. It's a weird thing to say. Um, so uh, he, but they really talked about how cool the homebrew stuff was and, you know, that they love seeing it and stuff. La Sombra Dark, you mean you haven't read all the 400 pages in the past hour or two? Rude. Shameful. Shameful. I am slack. Shameful. Like, so, um, I expect more from you. I will bring my A game later. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I, I'll, I just have to edit this video after this. Um, so, <laughs> all right. Um, last piece that we have is campaign frames um exciting this is, this, this is something that has been talked about a lot um the but I, I feel like a lot of people are not very clear on what is meant when we're talking about the campaign frames oh i think it was is it chapter four um chapter five here we go chapter five campaign frames so People don't seem to be clear on what these are. What they are, Matt said, I put it in quotes, bite-sized examples of a campaign. That's what it is. Especially, yeah. I do think they're doing some of the Lord's work of trying to show a GM, this is how you build a story. This is how you build a campaign. It's hard. It's tough to just get into a tabletop RPG and be like, okay, I guess there's a wizard's tower. Anything that you can do to frame your work, uh, your work, you, the thing that you're making, your, uh, your art, I don't know, whatever you're doing, it helps to ground the world in reality and it helps you build. Steven, did you feel when we started Marauders of Windfall last night that it was we were in a different genre? We're not in horror anymore, mystery. Now we're in epic, thrilling pirate adventure, you know? 
Yeah, 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 definitely so. And if you ask me, hey, what was going on in your head? I can tell you the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song for a week straight. Everywhere I went, it was da 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 because that's how a campaign a campaign frame works. It gives you concepts to live in that world. So yeah. So for example, if you ha- if you look, I'm not gonna look at one of the bigger ones. They have two very large ones: the Wither Wild and five. <sighs> Flaming banners, I think. Five banners. Five banners burning. Five banners burning, which is very exciting. Um, let's look at one of the smaller ones that has been fully fleshed out. Five baby, <laughs> that's very good. Hasn't been as I was gonna look at some that hasn't haven't been fleshed out as much. Um, um Kayla, yeah. Treasure Planet. That, treasure that, Planet. I thought treasure yes, Planet. Kayla, please think Very Treasure Planet. Vibes. Please. Yeah. That's what I want. I want you to think Treasure Planet in my Marauder's Windfall. I also want you to think um, Michael Underwood. I Maybe it's not him. One of the designers had mentioned that they had built it after that movie Stardust, where the guy walks uh, into the natural world. Oh, yeah. World. That a little bit too. There are pirates in the skies capturing lightning in a bottle and stuff. There are keyframes, Skyfish. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want you to feel that it's a magical world. I love now knowing where your head was following me, by the way, Kayla, when you said, What do you see around the boat as the co- collaborative world building? And you said, Steampunky stuff. Perfect. I knew that we were there together. You know, I love that so much. Um, yeah, Lissandra says, right. It's not here are completely built and ready to run campaigns. Mm-hmm. It's here are some tips and tricks to help you. Um, that I absolutely agree with. It's so like you can see that in any of these, they will give you like touchstones. Um, for example, I had seen one of these, man, I wish that I could remember the name of it, where it was Elden Ring was one of them. And it's meant to be uh, that's grim cool. dark. Um, one of them is like, Hyrule is supposed to be, you know, Legend of Zelda is supposed to be a touchstone. Why? I've, I've lost where I was. It doesn't really matter. Um, the, uh, there are two really fully fleshed ones in here, though it sounds like there are going to be way more. There's the Wither Wild and there are five banners burning. Um, these are campaign frames. So Wither Wild, for example, we're just going to go here. I didn't want to, but we're going to go here. A peaceful, quiet land faces a spreading corruption. Zelda was Wilder Wow. Yes. Abso- thank you so much, MC Cat. Absolutely. Yeah. So like it, you, it gives you those touchstones it tells you some details about what if you want lore this is where you should go to seek it this is not necessarily the lore of the world they're building because i think that they're more so giving us frameworks but it gives you an idea here we go you can actually see tone and feel dynamic whimsical cozy uncanny Mm -hmm. epic heroic adventurous thrilling you don't see like there are certain things missing from here, right? You don't see futuristic in here. Themes, verdant, ancient, serene, and haunted. Is this not the shit that I make? Like, this is it. Um, and you can see inspirations. The Legend of Zelda, The Dark Crystal, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which is Studio Ghibli uh, or uh, Miyazaki. Um, All great uh, sources of material. Yeah, it's just pieces for you to kind yeah. of get a taste of what a campaign could look like pick one out and then build it i think this is so valuable for the people who are saying when is daggerheart gonna have a a cyberpunk version and when is when is it going to have a you know call of cthulhu version and it's like well first of all that's candela obscura go play candela obscura if you want that one it's you know right but but you can have it in any tabletop game you just modify it campaign frame you just gotta, yeah. yeah whisk it up however you need to um, that really is everything from our notes. So I'm just going to look through real quick of things that, um, you know, Matt and Spencer had talked about today. Um, oh, you know what? Something that I think is cool for everybody to know. 
If you join the Discord, the Darrington Discord, join ours too. Join ours too. Yeah, but, for sure. But go join the Darrington Discord. Um, the people that make this game are in there looking at stuff more than you think. And today, Ivan Van Norman, somebody had asked the question, I can't remember who, had said, hey, what? who, who should we reach out to if we have really cool ideas for like kinds of product offerings that should go out as part of the launch, I think is the idea. Ivan Van Noren, Norman, the head of Darrington Press, was like, at me. At me. <laughs> I was like, you're... Let me know what you think. I, I messaged him back and I was like, your inbox is about to explode. He said, I know, I know what I've done. <laughs> like, so, so if y'all have cool ideas, don't let them sit in a void. Throw it to them. Um, all right. Uh, we've talked about the level ups. We've talked about ad adversaries. Yeah, damage thresholds are different. They mentioned that they're trying to limit the number of dice that you must roll while keeping respect for people who want to roll a lot of those. Um, MC Cat said, five banners burning gives me C2 vibes based on quick description. I agree. I agree. Like a war torn kind of something is building. Yeah, I, I fully agree. Um, campaign 2 is C2, by the way, for those of you who, who aren't aware. Um, domain cards, again, that's part of it. Uh, other pieces. Feedback. Um, I think that my last piece is probably going to be... <laughs> well, I guess, Stephen, do you have anything that you wanted to talk about that we haven't? Not necessarily. Uh... That's all right. Then let's talk about, yeah, I yeah, think no. my final kind of wrap up piece for this whole discussion is what Dagger Heart looks like in the future. Because I think some of the reason that I'm sad or, and then talked about this at the beginning is because it's almost over. This really fun thing that we've all been doing together and has, has, it's really like made me excited for Tuesdays, you know, now I have, <laughs> is it Tuesday yet? I also have, is it Monday yet? Because that's our game night and stuff. Um, you know, I asked the questions <laughs> because I was nervous about, you know, losing all of this. And I, I, so I can't remember how I phrased it exactly, but it was, I think, one of the very last questions that they asked on stream. It was either the last question or the second to last. I think it was the second to last. And it was, hey, 1.5 is going to end in just a few weeks. After that, are you, is this going into a void? Are we not going to hear anything else from you or if we stick around, are we gonna get little juicy tidbits? Is there anything that you can share? I made a joke in chat of like, uh, flash mob with the community when, you know? <laughs> and they made it pretty clear that there's still gonna be stuff happening. So it's not gonna be as thorough, maybe. Or maybe it will be the beginning of a marketing campaign, guys. Who knows? But we're not gonna just be forgotten <laughs> it's not gonna go into a void of no communication about it until the launch date which i i think some of us were nervous about i was nervous about you know i've really loved living in this open beta um and they also did say that there will be some kind of format for game feedback um so i know that the surveys in their current state are closing at the end of this month i think july 30th um that doesn't mean that you should hold off from putting in your survey feedback because who knows what that format's going to be. Maybe it's just multiple choice, you know, but but you won't you're going to have an ability to talk back with them and, and give your feedback. Matt Mercer even brought up the thing of even if you find a game breaking issue right before we launch, give us the feedback. We'd rather have it and see if we can do something than not, you know. Find out last minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm very excited to hear that. I am so excited for this game. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah. Steven, is there anything else from your side for now? Uh, nothing, nothing at the moment, no. Um, I'm uh, excited to see, <laughs> I'm excited to see where this is, you know, heading. Uh, I know that we're running out, uh, beta is ending, uh, like we had mentioned. Um, 
I'm excited to kind of see the little tidbits. I want to know. Tidbits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, you know, I, I just want to let people know that because I've, I've gotten a couple of people who have reached out and they're like, so you're gone right after this is done. And no, my my plan has always been to carry this through at least until Daggerheart launches. I know that there have been jokes from some of my friends that I've made along the way of like Rachel's doing the marketing for or trying to help with marketing for Darrington Press. The reality is, is it's kind of true. The, what in that I'm not, I'm in no way affiliated with Darrington Press. What I'm saying is, I want this Daggerheart to be the next huge tabletop RPG because not only do I think it's a good system, I think it fulfills the niche that most, the niche, however you want to say it, I know it's both, um, of whatever you want out of a tabletop system for the most part. I also think that it is the version that stands the, the highest chance of being incredibly successful. And to really change the landscape of tabletop RPG, I think we need something that shakes things up. That's yeah. why I'm so passionate about what this is, is because I think we are seeing the evolution of tabletop in front of us. I want to get as many eyes on it because if it passes as just a fun thing that we can all play, that's awesome. I'll play it. But if it changes things for the better in the community, that's really what I'm after. So gather your party, go play this game. Go do it. Test the stuff. Get out there. You guys market to tweet, you know, all of don't tweet. Get off of Twitter. I have to get off of Twitter. It's just where I am. But Instagram, you know, <laughs> all those things. Um, and we're going to be here. We're going to be here for as long as we can. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm at least getting a party of some kind. Hopefully these people that I've been with, if they're all down as long as I am, at least getting one campaign all the way to level 10. So you'll get to watch us do that. Um, but yeah, this is the last time that we'll do this at least, Steven. Uh, I mean, yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll find reasons to have our little talks. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll just have a little chats, honestly. So yeah. All right. <laughs> that's it for me, though. So, yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I guess I do have one more thing, which is just because I have a forum to say it. So why not? You know, Sam Regal shared some really difficult news about his health recently, and I'm not going to go into that here. Um, but I think just I speak for the community at large when we say how wonderful Sam Regal as a person seems to be and how much we are there for him in like this really hard thing and how appreciative we are for him for talking about it and mostly we're just glad to get to see him play a hot yeah 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 oh spoiler very exciting like, uh, but yeah <gasps> so i know i'm sorry <laughs> so like, i'll put a little spoiler in the video but but um but yeah so glad that he's doing well and yep that's it for me so i i've asked two times but this is truly the last one anything steven anything last that you have Make sure that you go and you're following us on Instagram. We're on YouTube. We're here on Twitch. Uh, we're 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 at all the places. Um, I know Rachel said to not get on Twitter. Don't listen to her. We're on there. Oh, get yeah. on there. To follow yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And then oh, we have a game on Thursday. We are running our um, episode two of the Kingdom of uh, Yeah, level seven. We gotta Level go. seven. What? Uh, what is it? Dogford? Bogford? Bogford? Kingdom of Befog. Anyway. Befog. <laughs> yeah. <so laughs> on Thursday, so. Okay, but yeah, Lasombra Dark says it makes a great point. They're live now on Four Sided Dive with Sam, so y'all go watch that. Oh, we're done. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, we're done. Go Have see what they're night, doing. Have a great night, you guys. Thank Give you him so our much love. For being here. Give him our love. And bye. 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 I have to find a thing of it. Bye. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>